Hey guys, Brad here, trashing to cash. Today, after I go get some food, I'm going to be trying to see how much copper we can get out of this microwave. All right, on this microwave here, first thing you want to do is definitely take out your metal plate. Take that out. Never done this before, so I'm gonna figure it out as I go. Uh, there's a whole bunch of screws here. I don't have a star screw, but you can use a, a flathead. If you get the right size flathead, get a smaller one, it'll work. Uh, so I'm gonna take a little quick break here. I'm gonna take these out. Uh, right here is pure copper, some cords. Throw in your cords. Uh, right here, I got some mixed metals. Got some copper over here started. Everybody drinks some Cokes, beer, whatever you got. Throw your cans, trash to cash. Whenever I just zoom in like right here, see if you can see that, uh, or just yeah, see my, um, it's kind of a star with a circle in it. I don't know what the hell it is. I couldn't find anything to fix it, so this is how I'm gonna fix it. That, like that. Bam. Nice. Huh? All right, let me get this off of here, and then uh, I'll show you what's going on next. All right. All right, on the back here, uh, there's a plate. This is my first time doing a microwave, so I have no idea what's going on. There's a plate, I took the screw off. Uh, as you can find out if it's metal or not. If it sticks to it, it's metal. If it doesn't stick to it, it's most likely aluminum. Toss it in your metal. This on the back here, uh, came I took a screw out of it and just unplugged it. Not quite sure what's in it, but we'll take a hammer to that later and find out what's in there. Uh, hey guys, um, I just recorded me taking this whole microwave apart on my iPhone because my camera lost battery. Anyway, um, I don't know how to upload my Apple software to my video editing software that I just bought. Long story, anyway. Basically what happened was, here we had the front, like so, you know. Um, there were some screws you had to take out, all that stuff, pretty cool. Yay. I uh, just knocked off the door with a hammer. I really wish you guys could have seen me, it was a lot of fun, but I will show you this. Um, all this stuff is scrap metal, pretty cool. Um, basically that, so I got a little piece of scrap metal there. I just threw a couple pieces of scrap in here. Um, these are the things that come out of the microwave. I don't really know what's in here yet, but I am going to take my bandsaw and try to figure out what that is. Um, did get this copper here. As you can see, there's really thin layers, fine layers. Yeah, it won't zoom. Anyway, I got this one here. There's quite a bit of copper in this one. Let me get my saw out. Some people say that you can actually chisel it in there and get all those little layers apart and take it a piece. I've done that. It's not my favorite thing to do. Hey, Ralph, say hi. Oh my God, you're dirty. Um, Anywho, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my saw. I'm just going to cut straight through it. I am going to cut into that just to see what it is. I don't know. I did find this copper in the microwave. This copper. Uh, I did find this good piece of little copper there. It's pretty nice. Again, guys, I really wish I had that stuff. I just took the whole thing apart and videotaped the whole thing. It was great. Um, I just won't let that happen again. <laughs> Always wear gloves, always wear safety glasses. It's my first time doing this. Let's see what happens. So this is what came out of the microwave here after we sawed it. This piece here comes off. 
If you look real close, I was telling you about those threads, you can kind of see them. See how they'd come apart if you use the flathead or wedge or something. Anyway, this piece came right out. I just have a feeling, I hope that's copper. I need to cut into one of those pieces because sometimes they use aluminum plated copper. That feels really light. This here, shiny copper. And this is how it's put together. Notice how it's all the way through there. That E pattern goes all the way through the copper and then through the side. And if I hadn't cut through that, oh man, you could spend hours doing that stuff. But some people do, some people don't. What I'm doing here is I'm just taking the hammer and knocking it loose right out of that E pattern. All right, so this is the stuff that I got out of the microwave. We got the outer casing, which is just mixed metals, some stuff like that. Um, you can see on the top there, there's a little bit of metal that came out. The whole outside of the thing. Um, this I'm gonna show you guys. Little bit of copper in there. It's pretty cool actually. Uh, inside of that little tape. Or here is that metal, that E pattern that I was telling you about that comes inside. So I took my saw and got it out of there. Got this piece of copper out of there. Pretty good little piece. I don't know how much it weighs. We'll put it on the scale later and find out. Uh, that's the E pattern. It actually goes inside of there completely. Um, this stuff here, I'm actually afraid of. I don't think that that's copper. It looks like kind of a dull copper on the outside. Whenever I cut into it, it was shiny silver, so it makes me think that it's like aluminum, maybe some copper coating or something like that. Uh, I did get that good ball of copper out of there. Look how shiny that is, nice shiny. Um, this stuff here is a little bit of aluminum that cased this round thing that looks like copper to me. Um, but whenever I got into it, you could see silver in that. I wonder if they'll take it as mixed metal or if they'll take it as copper. Um, let's see here, cigarette butts. These are the simple tools I used. Uh, I had a saw. I had my little thing there, a hammer, and a few screwdrivers. This is the first of the year. We're going to start this year off right, trash to cash. Hope you guys like my videos. I'm going to try to start making more videos. I got a new camera. I got some video editing software. I'm going to try to make the thing nice. Uh, try to put a video maybe once a week on here so you guys can check it out. Maybe tw you know twice a week, depending on what I do. Um, anyway, Happy New Year's, everybody. Love you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you soon.